I got a little curious about Rico crime. It has to do with gang stalking, gang stalkers. In 1970, to prosecute criminal activity is people who is corrupt, corrupted, pretty much. Had to do with President Noxon. Nixon. Pretty much. He passed down something to where that these people cannot get away with their RICO crime. Pretty much. And I've known some people to be doing RICO crime to me as well. Has there been about maybe up to 50 people did RICO crime on me? Is it up to 50 people who's done RICO crime on me? No. Has there been about maybe 60 people who's done RICO crime on me? Is it 60? Yes, 60 people have done RICO crime on me. All this has to do with it. This is what gang stalking really is. What it's about. They're paying off people in a dirty way. They're gambling with people's lives. They're gambling to see like pretty much they're playing with people's lives. And it's also commission of murder for hire. Meaning that I have plenty of proof of people coming my way because either they were talked into, they were bri um, bribed for money, or they were trying to hire a hitman for murder on me. That's what a RICO crime is. It is a act of people who are corrupted. It's up to 60 people who's done it upon me. That's pretty crazy. But that's what it truly is about. And pretty much. A person who has been targeted for narcissistic abuse. I did a video about this. About gang stalking. That's what it is. That. The 60 people don't realize they can be sued. Criminal acts. Trying to burn down my home. A CEO drugged me in my sleep. Let me see. Had people coming after me for their dirty work. Um, let me see. People were talking about murdering me in 2016. That's also... Rico crime. That's why they're watching you. They're not going to leave you alone until something happens. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. That's pretty fucked up. That I understand Rico crime. It's been up to 60 people who has done this to me. And not realizing that it's a very serious situation. It's, <laughs> it's not a joke. It's not a joke. That's pretty much you're gambling with somebody's life on purpose. Indulging in fucked up behavior. That's what Rico is. Because I was curious about it because I've never heard of it before but I shared it on my platform from a terror reader that I watch. She looked it up and I said sharing it. 
Because there's a lot of people out here who don't understand that gang stalking is not something that you do. That that leads to very dangerous behaviors. Pretty much you have to watch your back 24-7 a day. You have to watch where you go because you're going to be swarmed. You have to be careful with others because others think that it's okay with what they do and it's not okay pretty much. And once you find out the real truth behind it of what gang stalking truly is, and it just explained it's a type of form of bullying trying to make you pull suicide. Because they don't want you here anymore, pretty much. They feel like you're a threat to society. And they pretty much don't want you here. And by people, if you have proof and documents and contracts, if you ever been through a RICO crime, you will get where I'm getting at. For the people who don't know and don't understand, that there's been too many people... That I didn't I didn't know what this meant until I seen it. There's been action taken upon me with Rico crime. There have. People trying to get a hold of people. Trying to bribe people. Trying to get people to lie for them. People will be so sick and fucking corrupted. That these individuals would love to lie upon you. And get away with it because they're doing it in the dark. That's where they manipulate the court system. That's where they do their emotional abuse. And I've looked it up on narcissistic abuse. They're very good at playing victim. But gotta remember. That their shit does come up and it does reveal back on them. They don't realize this. That if you are a good person and these people have to lie to get away with their dirty shit, it will never work out in their favor. It's kind of sad. I have to sit here and remember all this shit just to protect myself. It's pretty sad. It's kind of fucked up, but I know what it is. There were people betting on me if I was going to live or not. There were people betting that I would die. There were people gambling and shit they were not supposed to be doing. That's the whole point of gang stalking. It's a point of trying to scare you, for one. It's trying to put the fear in God in you. It's also trying to prove a point that they think they're above the law when they're not. Which I think is right down comical. Pretty much. But when you got people out here who does a lot of research and looks up shit, these people are screwed. And these people don't realize it, that there are people out here... That will see a situation. And when you don't look it up, that's how they get away with it. Rico crime is gang stalking. It's really nasty of a form of pretty much bullying with a whole bunch of people at once. Coming at you, trying to get you in trouble. Lying. Perjury. Trying to play victim. And that's when people get gaslighted. I've noticed that. And I think it's pretty funny. That they can't put a wool over everybody's eyes. Even as kind of funny. There's some people out there that understands what's going on. So pretty much. Assessing. It is time to access your current position. You must make sure your blind spots are revealed. And that you are honest with others and yourself. So pretty much, your blind spots 
their blind spots are being revealed. Whenever they try to like blindside you, they try to do something that you don't understand. It's pretty much being revealed to you that you need to be honest with yourself and others. That it's being revealed. Their blind spots are not there anymore. People get too damn offensive. And I know what that's about. The reasons why they get so damn offensive is because they didn't think you were going to catch on. These criminals think they're so damn slick that you're not going to catch on. These people think you're straight up dumb. That's not always the case. You know what I mean? These people need to recognize... That others are going to see this for what it is. If you get away with it, you'll never get a favorable thing. Karma does bite back eventually. May not be when you expect it, but there's some people who gets away with stuff every day. And good people have to suffer. Because these people think they're slick because they do it in the dark. They constantly call the police to make you look like you're out to be something. Truthfully, they are. Commended romance relationship being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flute, fluter. So, there's pretty much something of the sort that's being revealed that people get pleasures of pretty much, it's being revealed of a blind spot that they want to mess up your happiness. A new emotional situation messages regarding relationship or social events. Great intuitive insight. Pretty much you're getting insight to know the wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So pretty much there's needs to be something to where it needs to be having honest communication like I said, there's others out here not being honest. And I think it's pretty written down comical that it's being revealed. The blind spot is that people are not calling for honest and open communication. There's people not even speaking honest right now. Pretty much. And I know there's some things that is known. And there's some that are not. But there needs to be a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So it's saying that the blind spot is that what's being gaslighted about. Is that there needs to be a change. People who don't speak the truth. Is because. They're powerless. It's coming to fruition. That they're causing you havoc. Because they hunger. Because they can't drop a situation out of fear. That's what it is. That also abundance also has to do with using their money dirty wise. And it states in the RICO crime that people will use money and gamble. And these people are fearful that it's coming back on them. Come into fruition, a situation coming to the light. 
there needs to be change. And these people are abusing their power. They're powerless. You know it. It's coming to fruition. That they're trying to bring havoc. Extremes. Somebody is jealous or trying to bring issues. They hunger. But guess what it's saying? They need to drop. And start being honest. And stop being a liar. They have fears that you are going to find out they're gambling with your life. They're hiring people to hurt you. That can also hurt them in the process. But they're not understanding that <laughs> there needs to be a change. Changes. Because it's already coming to reality. The situation is coming to fruition. Of how you understand this. And these people who. The 60 people who is doing RICO crime. Trying to do fraud. Theft. Possibly lie, perjuring, and messing with somebody's justice of what needs to be rightly done. And I know God's going to step in to stop whoever is messing, and that's what they're fearful of. Of how you know everything. These people in society feels like you're a threat. You look up everything. You are curious. Because you speak honest communication. But there's a situation that there's people that needs to better start having honest communication. If not, they're having fears. They're going to lose their money. Their abundance is going to look like shit. They're scared. They're going to lose everything. If they find out. Like whatever happens in the dark. Comes to the light. It always does. <clears throat> I don't care what nobody says. You do shit in the dark. To somebody. And you think you're getting away with it. God's letting you think you're getting away with it. But all in reality. You're getting judged. Hardcore. You're going to be getting judged. For hurting an innocent of something they do not deserve. And that's always a possibility. You shouldn't be messing with people by lies. That's these people's fears. Whatever they have done. It's coming to fruition. That there were people threatening others to shut them up. So they couldn't help me. That came to fruition. There were people gambling stuff upon my life, which came to reality. They hungered for it, problems and issues, but I think the reasons why they're in fear mode is because they know it's going to backfire on them. The devil, devil's work will be banished. God's got your back, believe it or not. And a lot of people are in the devil's mode right now. And that ain't cool. And it's not. It will never be cool. Because if you're trying to do something in the dark that ain't right. And you know for a fact that you're miscommunicating. And you know that you're purposely lying upon a person. That's what they fear. They have old fears, new fears, of that you're going to find out the truth. And that they're going to be revealed, and it's going to backfire on them. Because they hungered for this fucked up behavior. But it's saying that there needs to be a change. It needs to be a change. Pretty much, it's an unfair situation. But truthfully, honestly, 
They know. And these people think they're slick. No, they're not. Because God sees it for what it is. And he will not let you hurt another individual on purpose. And he will not deal with you doing a dirty deed. And that's what your fear is. You're fearful that the truth's going to come out about... You were threatening people to where they couldn't help me. You're fearful that everything is coming back on you. That you didn't pretty much hide your trail very well. If you are trying to mess with somebody who's got spiritual gifts. You're trying to mess with somebody who is very, very, very aware of a situation. They're going to know what you're doing. And this is what the fear is. And I feel it. The people who have tried to lie upon me did shit in the dark. It's not going in their favor. They think it, they think it is. They're fearing that they're going to get sued. They're scared of that what they have done they're scared it's going to be revealed it's already coming to fruition that the individuals who have tried you it's coming up that's all they want their their hunger for attention all that attention all that crazy talk all them trying to avoid the truth coming out. Of them threatening others to not let me know anything. Of them threatening others to shut them up. They can't seem to drop it, but that's their biggest fucking fear. There are others that could possibly sue those people as well. They're scared of losing their abundance. They're terrified of it. They're scared that truth has been revealed, and it already has. God has revealed it. Hardcore. That if you're out here trying to gamble somebody's life, he's going to make it known. Pretty much. And guess what? Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Unnecessary worry. Victory, good news, it's on its way. Public recognition or reward for standing up for yourself. That you understand that somebody got away with something with a dirty deed. Somebody did something they wasn't supposed to be doing. And that's the truth. That they didn't communicate honestly with nobody. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So, pretty much from what I have experienced, or I'm pretty sure others have, have you ever noticed people who constantly kept coming at you, kept coming at you, and then all of a sudden, it's backfired? Where everything is starting happening to them? That is their biggest fear, and it's happening to them. They cannot put a blind eye on you no fucking more. They know they're caught. They know what they did was wrong. And there's crows. And crows are messengers. There's crows showing up. They're messengers of somewhat of protection. They're somewhat to let you know something ain't right. As well. Our, uh, King of Michael. Is here to say that. People need to. Start. Having honest communication. Because there's a situation going on. That somebody's going to get charged. Who is innocent. And. The people who done crazy shit. In the dark. Is basically going to get away with it. And he's not having that. Archangel Michael, King of Michael, is here to say these people 
are scared because it's coming back on them. That's their issue, not mine. I didn't tell them to do shit. You have gratitude to understand what's really fully going on. You have the gratitude to understand that a blind eye is starting to be revealed. You're okay with it. You understand it. You're not scared of it. And there's messages in everything that is coming to fruition and Michael, King of Michael, is making it known that you cannot lie. You cannot mess with somebody's relationship. And that's what it is. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career, or artistic adventures, working with others in a cooperative manner. So, there's people probably upset because you're being cooperative, and that's what they fear. The people that were threatened to shut up of not helping, these people are going to be cooperative. And there's going to be honest communication about it. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationship, deep and lasting spiritual insight. So, pretty much from what I'm getting... Is that there's going to be a big change into knowing what somebody's trying to do. Spiritual insight, meaning that they probably don't realize that maybe these people who they have threatened to not talk, these people are going to be cooperative. To freely speak without feeling on eggshells. That's their biggest fear. 60 people who have done Rico crime on me. These people have threatened. These people are going to cooperate. Manner. These people are going to feel the need. They can talk what they need to say. Without fear. And so that justice can be done the correct way. So that's a little bit of what I'm getting. And what is about wisdom need to talk honestly? Ooh. The moon. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for a current guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So pretty much Archangel Michael, King of Michael, is saying that you need to listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So pretty much it's saying that you have no fear of pretty much you're facing your fear of facing a situation that there's people trying to cause you issues that pretty much that there's something going on you got gratitude it's an unnecessary worry and you you're having a change you're very powerful and that's what it means it's coming to fruition you are listening to your higher self. Improve your plans. Listen to your intuition. For accurate guidance. To understand what's fully going on. It's already been revealed. That's what it is. You're facing your fears by being honest. These others are in fear mode. That you're becoming stronger and you're facing your fears. That's what, that's what the individual's extremes doesn't like. Is that you're facing your fears. You don't fear them. And you're growing stronger than them. They are powerless. 
you are becoming a better individual in time. You are becoming more better of understanding things. You're trying to change. You stay in your power. You know things are coming to fruition about these individuals. You have faith that there's a good change coming. You have faith that things will work out in your favor. Because you know people were crossing your damn boundaries. You knew it. You knew people were crossing your boundaries. You knew it. Because you got a narcissistic who is jealous, envious of you. And that's coming to fruition. You got multiple narcissistic people who are mad at you for facing your fears. Rejection is protection. But they don't like it that you are growing. You have growth. You're growing into a better individual than what they are. They fear you because you don't have to have attention. You can speak truth. You don't have to lie. And they were crossing boundaries. And you're releasing. And that's what their hunger is. They can't understand why have you released and they're not getting the attention is because they're attracting negative shit. You're more attracting more happier times. You're releasing all the shit. That all you need to know is what you need. You speak with purity. You're clear with your communication. And that's what fears them. And they know you're accepting it for what it is. They're not clear with their communication. You're pure. They're not. You're accepting this. For what it is. You're letting it go with the flow. Even though you don't want to. But it seems like. It's unnecessary worry. About these 60 people. You don't have to worry about the narcissistic. Because. It's already been revealed. That they're in fear mode. Because they know you speak clear communication. You don't have to lie. And you don't have to be two-faced. To understand a situation. You don't have to be like that. And that's what they can't fucking understand. Is that. They're not getting what they wish for. And it's not happening like that. So pretty much. A significant life event. A powerful revolution that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Move on from it. You know you're good. You know you're spiritually protected. You know you're spiritually loved. Your abundance is looking good. Don't worry about people who's trying to fuck with your relationship because it's not going to work out in their favor. You have growth. Your abundance is going to look good while they sit in poverty and being unclean. Not purity. They can't stand it that they're jealous of you because you've turned out to be a better individual than what they are. They can't face their fears because they don't want to work on themselves. You have set up boundaries. These people are scared of boundaries. You have faith. They don't. The only faith they had was to hurt you and guess what? Their faith is lacking because they didn't think you were going to catch on to this Rico crime. They know they didn't, they didn't do a very good job of not being careful how the way they spoke to you. They're not very careful with it. So, night of air. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. So... Take the time to carefully review your options. Would mean that you're accepting. You're not going to let people fuck with you. You're showing them how you want to be treated. That you're not going to be disrespected. You're not going to be talked down to. You're not going to be treated crazy. You're saying you're not going to have people hire to hurt me. You're setting up your boundaries. 
of protection. You got a bubble around you of protection that you have released because you're wanting happiness. You're not jealous. You don't have to come out here and try to hurt another individual by lying. They're doing perjury. And that's not being clear. That's being unclean communication of them threatening people that knows a situation and they try to shut them up. That's being unclean. And that's what the narcissistic fears that these people are going to be questioned about what's going on these people can freely talk and not have to be scared to speak upon what they've heard and i know there's people proud as fuck i found out a lot of things and i'm sorry that there were people out here threatening you and your family I'm sorry for their fucked up behavior, but these people will get karma. I'm very sorry. But also on the other hand, you set up your boundaries too. Because you're not going to tolerate narcissistic behavior. You have released it because you respect your boundaries. You have faith that one of these days I was going to find out. And I don't know for how many people this is, but I got I feel most of the people that were once so badly talked to me, they couldn't because they were threatened by a lot of people. I feel like these people had faith in one day I was going to find out the real truth behind it. And these people are glad. But there's also others upset because there's injustice right now pretty much somebody got away with murder pretty much somebody got away with the behaviors because nobody will speak up to help me at the time and that's understandable you know what i mean i didn't understand the situation but like i said it took a little bit of time for me to find this out and i also got another tarot deck as well so that's what i'm saying though there's mm -hmm. going to be a a significant life event i could spread my wings or anybody can that their abundance is going to look good make long-term plans but take time to carefully review your options meaning that the guidance of what you need to know truthfully and honestly and like i said the reasons why i apologize is because i didn't realize there were people wanting to help me out and wanted to tell me so badly but they were threatened and that's why i apologize for people who did that to you i'm really sorry I did not know that. But the thing is that you have gratitude is because you did self-reflection. These narcissists are not understanding their self-reflection. They're not understanding of what they're doing as hurting others. They don't see anything wrong with what they're doing. The narc don't care. The people who wanted to cause issues did not care. That's not okay. So let me see. Reflection real quick. Do, 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 do. Be curious about your own nature. Choose to turn inwards to quietly contemplate who and what you are and want the more you know about yourself the more you are able to stir yourself well know what you believe and why yet be open to the development of new beliefs and ways of being i am not afraid to look deeply at myself in all aspects 
So pretty much that's what these people fear is that I understand myself and everybody has experience. Some people don't like it. Some people don't want to do the work of understanding themselves. And that's what it is. That you can see what another individual is doing to you. That's what these people cannot accept is that I understand because I've been through it. Like, you know, self-reflection is that you need to understand yourself. What you're doing is not okay. You know right from wrong. They just chose the wrong path because they wanted to. Because they thought they were funny. Divine guidance. Their search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surrender yourself with mm -hmm. wise teachers or friends. You know, that says something right there. The divine guidance just came out. Said you need to surrender with wise teachers or friends to understand the situation, to understand it better. That says a lot right there. Ooh-wee. Reason to celebrate a community of friends' happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So there's an insight of something about relationships or children. So I can take it as friendships. Maybe the community, like I said earlier, there are people that are happy for me. That I found out a lot of stuff. I found out. And I said that earlier. And that kind of. Community friends. Happy announcements. That could also be it too. Like I said. Maybe the friends are happy. That I found out. I mean. These, these people could be the ones who I haven't seen for a while. Or it could actually be a very, very good people who knew me. I just haven't seen for a long time. But it's very difficult because there's too many stuff going on. But those are for the people who actually cared about me and who knew about it as well. And I, and I even said it. These people were happy, joyful for me that I actually found out the truth. Now... The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears, grow stronger. Is that I accept I'm stronger than the narcissistic. I'm stronger than the people who's not purity, who cannot speak clean, who's, who cannot speak clearly to me, cannot tell the truth. As well. Not honest. And I released. Negativity out of my life. For of Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant. Rewards. For hard work. Release yourself from. Burdensome situations. And that's what it is. Is that. It's time to. Release yourself from burdens. So there's people trying to bring me burdens that I don't need. There's people bringing burdens. Trying to put it on me. When they need to do self work on themselves. And they're not doing it. They're trying to put it on me. And that's not going to work out in your favor. Like people trying to call people to hurt me. The unexpected. The unexpected could mean that there is somebody coming back, re-entering. It could be a friend or a family member. That you see, you see stuff in beauty, pretty much. You see things in a beautiful light. You understand dark and light. You, you know there's good and evil. 
because the narcissistic can't stand it that you nourishment yourself. They cannot stand it that you know how to nourishment yourself and others. That you are peaceful. You're peaceful when you want to be. But you're choosing, you're trying to choose peace. You're not trying to get involved in anything. You're trying to avoid it to have beginnings to release the narcissistics out of the life. You don't need that shit in your life. You don't need it. It's a burden. You don't need a burden in your life. You know how to balance your emotions. You've dealt with it so much that you know and you understand. When you feel burdened, you know it's not you. And being patient is to understand <coughs> that it's others who's feeling burdened and trying to project it onto you, which it's not going to work. You have learned. You're accepting. You have learned from your mistakes. You're learning how to be a grown-ass adult. And there's others who are not trying to learn from their mistakes. There's people out here that's not wanting to be an adult about situations. In my opinion, that's how I'm seeing it. And that's what their fear is, is that they know they try to put burdens upon you. They know it backfired because they're being childish. And they try to put you in so much chaos that the burdens came back on them. Not on you. You know why they try to why they try to put burdens upon you? Competing goes bothersome details conflict with others. And you're being patient of knowing that it's already coming to fruition. That these people are not learning their lessons. They keep coming at you recklessly. Because a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time of the essence. Think things through carefully. You took immediate attention of being a grown ass adult. Accepting that you're not perfect. But you understand it's a clean slate that you understand you have self-responsibilities. So pretty much there's people trying to put all burdens upon you. And they try to put it on you, which that's their fear. If you are a narcissistic and you try to abuse the wrong individual, it's not going to work out in your favor. You want to know why? Because everything resurfaces back up eventually. These people don't know how to trace their tracks very well. These people don't know how to do it. They want to be caught. So they can think you're crazy, but it's not that. That's kind of funny to me. Falling in love or the wedding proposal, the need to balance emotions. So pretty much there's people... That is causing you burdens. Trying to cause you issues. You have awoken to it. Archangel Michael. The wheel. That. These people need to balance out their emotions. Because people have awoken to the bullshit. And the narcs fear. That there's a. Time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. And that's what fears them. That you're having a good outcome. And they fear that. A contented, rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationship. And that's what they're jealous about. And also, the reasons why you need to pretty much objective... Decision making, clearing all the way that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. So pretty much your divine guidance is saying that the individuals, the 60 people or whoever tried you, whoever tried to bring you burdens, whoever tried to lie upon you, whoever tried to get away with something, that it's a funny, it's a funny situation.
because they just mainly revealed what your enemy was up to as well. It explained a lot, and that's why it's a humorous situation that the Queen of the Moon Oracle, let me see, where's that? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Um, Archangel Power Tarot Deck. And Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot Deck. Just pretty much called all of them out. Pretty much exposed what needed to be exposed. That they're jealous. They're envious. Because you choose peace. You don't want to be in the bullshit anymore. You understand your mistakes. You take self-responsibility. Even though you know. You didn't cause it. But you're still taking self-responsibility. Because you're being a grown ass adult about it. And the narcs are not taking their self-responsibility. They're trying to put all burdens upon one person. And that's not okay. That shows that they're childish as fuck. And that's why it's funny to the Divine Guidance. And it's funny to Queen of Air. Is because pleasures is that you're pretty much in a happy state of mind. You're wanting peace. You're wanting lovable things you're wanting like happy things you know like doing things that you love you know what i mean like volleyball or a hobby something 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 that you love that's very positive you love that doing stuff that's positive right now very nice nice loving not bullshit there is a better curse of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So pretty much. They're trying to say that. Working alone is not okay right now. Because of a situation. That you need more help. Than what you think right now. Pretty much. Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental acti activism. Activism. So that's why you don't need to work alone right now. You need to have at least somewhat help. Because there's something going on in the environment that somebody is not being nice right now. There's people in the environment trying to bring you havoc. Who's trying to pull some shit that you don't need pretty much. So, let's find out what this is about real quick. If I can find it. Oh. Okay, don't give up. Your determination and courage are needed now more than ever. You've came a long way and your work has been important and valuable. Stand your ground and protect what you have created. Be prepared for any possibility you've already proven yourself and your position is skur. Sure, so long, oh, secure, excuse me, sucker, so long as you have convinced you may be tired, but this is the last challenging situation before success comes your way. Additional meaning of this card, Nine of Gabriel, sticking with your plan's ability to fight off illness environmental activism growing organic food so pretty much like i said 
there's an illness. So there's people trying to poison, trying to bring me burdens, people trying to bring me issues that pretty much you need to stand your ground. You need to stand and protect yourself. You understand there's something going on in the environment that is corrupted. Mm -hmm. And I just explained about that, about, um, oh, what was it? Rico crime is corrupted. You're trying to get away from sickness. You don't want that shit in your energy. It's pretty much from what I'm getting. Your determination and you're not giving up. You have courage. To have peace. You have the courage. To stand up against an individual. Who is lying. Who is unclean. You know facts. And you know truth. You know everything. To be facts. You're one to stay pure. You're not wanting to be around people. Who are sick minded people. You don't want to be around people. Who are ill attention you don't want people so pretty much you don't want to be around people who is corrupted you want to have you want to be around people justice justice woo wee justice angel ragul fight for justice equality ruling made in your favor don't give up and that is right there of explaining Everything of anything of all sorts of stuff. That's explaining a lot more than what people think. And it's saying, fight for justice, equality, ruling made in your favor. Pretty much. Burdensome. You know people were trying to start on you. A very special day, freedom from responsibility, the joy of life, a promotion, or a new job. So I need to try to find justice. I don't know where it's at, though. Oh, here it is. Oh, there was the moon. Yeah, it's time to review your plans, pretty much. The abilities... Yeah, and two... Ooh! Ooh! The moon! Okay. It's time to review your plans. Something just isn't quite right. And your angels and guide, guides are lovingly bringing this to your attention. The great news is that your psychic and intuitive abilities are heightened right now. Listen to your intuition, your sleeping dreams for guidance as to how to make revisions. Archangel Hanel can help you develop your psychic gifts and show what show you what aspects of the situation you're missing. So pretty much it says listen to my intuition. And the additional message is that message from diseased, diseased loved ones, hidden information or motivation facing your fears. So that's loved ones, family. I keep saying that, that sometimes my family comes through to let me know things. And that's diseased, meaning like they're not here anymore. I keep getting answers. Okay, here's justice. The angel sent you this card as assurance that the right decision will be made. Court cases, settlements, or the situation decide by third parties will be ruled in your favor. Where situations have previously became unfair, Archangel Michael Regal can help restore balance between the people involved and you will soon be able to put this challenge behind you. 
The card is also brings a message of empowerment that the situation you find yourself in was part partially created by previous choices you made, and therefore new choices can bring about new solutions. If you desire, it is very important to make fair and carefully measured decisions at this time. Kindness, justice must always be extended toward everyone involved. Additional meaning of this card. Seek quality. Sit aside emotions. Do the logic thing. Review legal papers carefully. Archangel Ragul is the angel to call upon whenever you find yourself in a challenging situation with someone else. He can soften the energy between two people or even groups so that a peaceful and harmonious solution can be found. And I just stated that. The whole situation is unfair. And that says a lot. That it needs to be fair because there's a lot of burdens. People not speaking truth. And yeah. Wow. That says a lot right there. But like I said, there was people being ridiculous, not owning up to their mistakes. There's action. Justice is the unknown of taking action upon to understand the full situation that there's an unfair thing there will be action standing up for yourself standing in your ground you have learned from your mistakes but you're taking self-responsibility but you understand that people are trying to project onto you what they truly been doing you have the will to stand for what you know you're standing your ground and you're fighting for what's right. You have the wisdom behind you to get your point across without without being a bitch. Because you love yourself. You love yourself to know that the situation is unfair. You understand the situation itself. You have wisdom. Discernment. That you're being revealed. It's being revealed. It is being revealed. Let me make sure that's right real quick. Yep. The wisdom. Acknowledge. Yep. Yep. Pretty much to understand the situation. Yep. Suffering gratitude raises a lower vibration to a high one. So you have a high vibrational than these people who thinks they're fooling you. You have a high vibrational than they do. Covert overt. Yep. Pretty much... You're in control, they're not. That's what they also fear, is that you're in control of a situation, you're not. Your angel, your, your divine guidance is in control of the situation. It says, peace mind is one of the greatest gifts we can give ourselves. Refuse drama and do not freely engage with people who use drama as a weapon. Stop fighting, allow yourself to rest. So pretty much there's people trying to fight when it's not even worth it. There's people not learning a lesson from a cycle. Yep. You understand your motives. You know what you're doing. Be as clear as possible in your communication. So you're pure with your communication. They're not... They're lacking faith because they're scared this was going to come out. 
that they're not in the right for what they're doing. And what did I say? A narcissistic individual. Extremes. There is a better way of dealing with conflict. They're trying to disrupt your business or life in some way. This too shall pass. So it's saying that the individuals up to 60 and whoever else was here to cause issues, it's no longer going to work in their favor. It's not. Change, accept change, you need to. Because one of the greatest truths in life is that change is constant. Yep, it's always going to be like that. Be patient. And avoid the lure of instant gratification. Slow down. Take your time. Things are happening. You just can't see it yet. So pretty much it's coming to fruition. Like I said. As the seasons turn, there is always a time when all the potential of the spring beginnings a manifest the Crops grow tall and are ready to harvest. So pretty much, I welcome the joyous fruition of all the intentions I set. So pretty much, your ancestors are happy for you. You just need to be careful that you don't get sick. You can easily get sick right now. In this time and moment. Let's see, where is it at? Unexpected traction. What am I looking for? D something. Where's at? Yeah, so pretty much you're being clear with your communication. They're not. Yep. Do not let your hunger blindly detect your actions i recognize all that i hunger for so pretty much there's people not pretty much they're blinded to their actions and how the way they act pretty much you release you no longer engage in negative habits you're not trying to engage you're trying to become a better individual there's people that are jealous because you're acting like an adult. You have self-responsibilities. I am strong and resilient. You understand everything behind that. They don't, pretty much. Let's see, where's that? Fears. So, pretty much that the... Fears is blocking blessings so pretty much of them trying to project fears onto me they're blocking themselves they're stopping themselves from from fulfilling their dreams let me see i just found it let me see discernment take care in your choices now look carefully and judge wisely there may have been something difficult to see, something that has been obscured, but now has been revealed to you. Pretty much, this has to do with you seeing it. It's being, it's already been revealed, all in this reading. That pretty much, the sixty people are mad as hell because you caught on. It's been revealed to you. And they know they cannot lie. Woo! And. They also need to do their shadow work. So. They can surrender. They're not doing their shadow work. And they cannot surrender. The burdens they try to put on you. They try to make you feel like you're unloved. They try to push people away from you. They try to make you feel like you did something. But truthfully, honestly, a narcissistic is pulling reverse psychology, gaslighting, wool over the eyes. You love yourself to know that you're not the issue here. 
but you take responsibility for whatever the fuck happened. Because you're being a grown-ass adult about it. You know what I mean? It's just life, I guess. The path. And realization. You have the realization of what's really truly going on. You're focused. And you trust that you are spiritually loved and protected. You know that you are a queen. You are a leader. You have creation. You're blooming. And they know you're spiritually protected. That's why they despise you. That's what they fear. That you're moving up in the world. That you do have protection on you. They're mad at you for not sticking in the old ways. They're stuck in Dark Night of the Soul. They're stuck in a really fucked up way in life. That's going to get them into some shit that they don't understand. Whatever you do in the dark is coming to the light. Pretty much. They're not liking it that I'm facing fears or whoever is going through this, whatever, right now. It's not just me, but I'm just speaking in general right now. That there's people terrified. Once you face your fears and you go on dead on ahead and you're stronger than them. That shows you're more of a stronger individual of a deeper understanding about life in general. What it's truly about. That's why it's a funny humor situation is because they need balance. You don't. They need straight up balance. They're out of balance with everything. Their heart chakra, their outer chakra, because they're stuck in ego. They're stuck in ego. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things or negative or fear-based thoughts. That's all these people are fearful of about, is that the truth was going to come to the light. They're fearful that you are becoming a better individual. They know you are a leader. They know you stand up for the weak. They know you will not tolerate certain behaviors. They know you are very well looked at and respected. Your focus on understanding and knowing that you are protected. There is an unfair situation because there is somebody in the community spreading poison. Not truthful things. Illness. Sickness, not telling the truth, not being honest, people lying for one another so that an individual gets in trouble for something that's unjust. If you mess pretty much, if you mess with justice for the right individual, it will not work in your favor. And that's what it's saying right here. That's why, that's why the universe thinks it's so damn comical. Because a person thinks they can mess with anything and they can't. And that's what they fear. And it just said, they're stuck in fear-based mode. Get the fuck out of your ego. Pretty much. Get out of your ego stage. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The change to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. So, you know that you can do something wonderful and something amazing now. You can do something amazing that you understand this. That it's not you. That you understand strength. Strength and grace. Through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. Thing is that... I have a habit of forgiving people of what they do, but honestly, in all in reality, it's like, God, please forgive them for they not know what they do. Even though they purposely done it, they know what they were doing, but they done it anyways. Queen of Michael, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationship. So, this is about business. 
of understanding of what's truly going on. The sun. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiration success. So pretty much it's saying that there's going to be a beautiful success. You have the strength to be kind, forgiving. You know what to do exactly. Because you know you're protected. You know that people cannot mess with you. You know that's what these people were fearful of. That they were going to be caught. And they didn't think Rico crime was even a thing. That's what they're scared of. King of Gabriel, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. And I have stated that. I was, I was kind of concerned for others. And I apologized about it. Because it was a messed up situation. Genuine concern for others. Yeah. Knight of Gabriel. Take time to take action. Great passion for a cause. In, in, instant actively knowing just what to do. So pretty much the universe is saying that there's exactly you know what you need to do. Release the past. There is a more in interaching future coming. Let go and let God. So God has stepped in the picture. Pretty much peace. Saying time to release the past. There is a more yeah future coming. Let go and let God. So that's pretty much telling me I need to let God take over. I need to let go and let God and people take care of the situation. That's unfair right now. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support a change in job or a promotion. So what I think by that is that saying God said you need to let it go. Is because, like I said, these people don't understand by messing with me or other people messing with others is that it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. So that's why I need to let it go. And God's trying to let me know or let you guys know that you do have support with you. You have support to help you when you really truthfully need it. And don't let, don't pretty much just let it go and let them work on it. Pretty much good fortune, you do have support. You do. And these people just want to be, you know, saying, no, 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 whatever. I don't know. I'm just going to let that go for a minute. New beginnings. Starting a new life. Finding your purpose. A forgiving and compassionate review of the past so pretty much it's saying that start a new life meaning like let go of the past let it go you can forgive but don't think about it so much the high priestess powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace yep it's the light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sigh of relief and make a new plans relocation or travel the wheel new beginnings End of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So pretty much it's saying that you need to let go, let God take care of it. Everything's going to go good for you. Let it go. That's why it's a funny situation. 
It's hilarious. It's a funny situation. That's why he's saying, let it go. And that's why it's saying, you already know what to do. You know you are going to get a fair and just decision. You are not going to be treated unfairly. I said God was going to step in. And what happened? It came out that God's going to step in. That's pretty strong right there. Now let me see. Let me get a little bit more and then I'll get off of here. Let me get... Excuse me. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy, hurtful advice. Charity. Charity work. So pretty much... That you need to focus on communicating and trustworthy, hurtful advice. For somebody to talk with a leader, somebody who has advice, it's a funny situation because you're getting justice. Fair and a just decision. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. That's why God said, let it go. There's going to be justice done. This came out twice. Justice, justice. There will be a fair and just decision made. It will not go unfairly. But I think this is all I have. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice day.